welcome to Inside Gaming for Hump Wednesday. Oh, uh, should you do it today? Oh, no, you do it. Oh, thank you. Ooh, it's good form. Smooth and clean. Mm. Efficient. Everyone is out of the office today, so I'm hosting with myself, damn it. Yeah, that's right. Finally, someone to laugh at my jokes. All right, enough of that bit. Poor Autumn has to take breaks sometimes because after more than a decade, Sony is finally letting us change our PlayStation Network names, which means Autumn can finally be something other than equestrian ecstasy. Are you outing me as a horse girl? They're powerful and majestic creatures. No one's blaming you for liking horses, right? Yeah, that name you picked during the Bush administration that has embarrassed you for all these years can now be gone forever. So long, Ninja Assassin 420. Hello, Magadabit69. Brian, so what? Whew. Please take the weight off of me for a second. They finally implemented the name change feature, so you'll be able to change your online ID starting today. You can do it on your PS4, of course, or through the Sony official website. You cannot do it through your PS3 or your Vita though, so. We can finally be responsible adult 420. That'll make sure all the punk kids in Fortnite stop yelling at me and calling me old. It's like using your Gmail address on your resume instead of bonecrusher at hotmail.com, which I'm also- That was Brian. my college What's email this? address. That's for the cost of doing it. The first time is free. After that, it's $9.99 for each name change or $4.99 for your PlayStation Plus member. And you can revert back to an old ID for free. That's so your friends be like, who's this new guy? What happened to Donglord69? You can display your old ID alongside your new one for 30 days. Man, throwing out fake online IDs is some low hanging comedy fruit, but I'll be dead before I stop enjoying doing it. That's the good news. Bad news is that this transition is not going to be simple and clean, like Hutaru Hikaru. What's her name? I'm hearing Hikaru Hut was Hikaru Hitara. Is that it? Hakuna Matata. That's racist. Hutada Hikaru. There it is. Thank you, Brian. There are some things you need to know about because changing your online ID could cause some issues in some games. In some cases, pretty significant issues. What sort of issues are we looking at, Brian? For one, your old online ID might still be visible in some games, which is annoying, but not a huge problem. Also, you might lose progress that you've made towards trophies and your save data might be lost as well. <sighs> it's a little worse. I need my trophies. You know that I, I can't get to sleep until I hear that dingle. You also might lose access to DLC or virtual currency in some games. That's even worse. Oh, and Sony says, quote, Parts of your game and applications may not function properly both online and offline. You can't reinvent your online persona without cracking a few game and application functions. The good news is that these so-called critical issues only affect a small number of games. What are some of those, Brian? Sony's counted 10 that have the biggest problems. Those include MLB The Show, 14 through 16, also Worms Battlegrounds, The Golf Club 2, Onrush, Little Big Planet 3, Just Dance 2017, Everybody's Golf, and Disc Jam. Not Disc Jam! They recommend that you don't change your ID if you're a heavy player of any of those games. So for all you guys that have put 2,000 hours into Disc Jam, maybe pump the brakes on the name change. Meanwhile, there's another category of games that Sony will say have issues with the ID change, but they're not super major at this point. Changing your ID might cause the game setting to revert back to default, or your old online ID might still be visible. Not really a big deal, but there are some higher profile games that this falls under. What are some of those, Brian? Yeah, Sony counted more than 30 games under this category. They include Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 2 and 3, FIFA 17, GTA 5, NBA 2K19, Last of Us Remastered, Titanfall 2, and Warframe. This is, this is shaping up like a really kind of corny Black Mirror episode. I wake up my online DVDs to say, my inversion is just reverted on. And then credits. You're just sitting there wondering like, again though, it seems like the vast majority of games will have no problem with the ID change, which is pretty cool. Every game published after April 1st of last year fully supports the ID change feature. So at some point, Sony understood this was gonna be an issue and implemented some standards going forward. For now, just be aware that you might encounter some weird quirks and problems with older games. Now here's the interesting question. Why is Sony finally doing this now after 13 years? You've been able to change your ID on Xbox Live for years now. Sony's resisted this feature for a number of reasons. They gave some weird ones, right, Brian? It's kind of ever shifting rationales. A few years back, Sean Layden told IGN that they didn't do it because they didn't want it to make it easier for people to grief their fellow gamers, go switch IDs, and come right back and do it again. That's a diplomatic explanation, but it's probably just a smokescreen. Microsoft clearly found a way around that by charging people a small fee to make the change. Even the most dedicated griefer probably isn't gonna shell out 10 bucks every time they wanna change their gamer tag, which is an awesome name for an online handle, by the way. Unless Elon Musk is just really committed to trolling people on GTA Online, which he might be and probably is. He's probably doing it right now. If you divide Elon Musk's net worth by $10, how many times can he change his PSN ID? Infinity times. That's a lot. He's like the Thanos of griefing. Lots of people suspected though that it was actually something about the PSN itself that made it difficult to actually change people's names. And I think
think you can see that based on the weird side effects we're seeing. Usually when you have an online account anywhere, it's not actually tied to your name or your login ID or anything like that. It's tied to something called a GUID, a globally unique identifier. It's like a string of characters that's guaranteed to be unique to the time that it was generated and on the exact CPU it was generated. Your username and all the data about you is tied to that identifier that doesn't change. So if your name changes, the system still knows who you are. From the sounds of it, a lot of old PlayStation games tied it to your actual like ID string, which is weird and also indicates that Sony never thought that anyone would ever change the name. So it wasn't a plan for feature. You're smart. That didn't stop people from requesting the name change for years and years and years because apparently some people are embarrassed by the name they picked when they were 12. I don't know why. Finally last year, Sony officials said that they were testing it out and developers said they were also preparing for the change. So at least Sony kind of started seeding the bed early and gave people some warning. This is actually pretty cool of Sony, right, Brian? Yeah, it's clearly something like you said they hadn't planned for back when they coded this in the early aughts. Maybe they just didn't care. Maybe they were so flush with their PlayStation 1 and 2 money that they were just like, we'll do whatever they want. But now they're trying to give players what they want, even if the feature is kind of broken for some games. So they actually did the really cool thing and said, look, we know you guys want this, so we're gonna give it to you. It does have some catches. So here's all of them. They basically did everything they could to make this feature work. And uh, hey, Sony, it just... Hats off to you. I I've been one of these people requesting this change for years. I've been refreshing the website all morning to see when I can change it. So I'm definitely gonna change mine as soon as I possibly can. Hey, Sony. Hats off to you. But now's the part where we already take the new feature for granted and ask for more. So we're gamers, damn it. We're never satisfied. There's still a ton of stuff Sony could do. They could implement a standardized invite system like Steam or Xbox has. It's not the hardest thing to get in the lobby with your friends on PS4, but it would be cool to have a system standard way to invite people to your game. We got some other ideas, right, Brian? Yeah, they could also implement on system backwards compatibility. That would be awesome. That's been a big highlight of the Xbox One this generation. Sony's got a huge backlog of games and they could always add more. That would be great. I'm not gonna lie and I've spent hours playing Black Republic Commando, but it's a fun perk to download those games and dabble in nostalgia for a few hours. PlayStation now works well enough, but it just, it doesn't feel the same. And of course, the biggest granddaddy of them all, crossplay with games like Borderlands 3 on the horizon, it's getting more and more frustrating to think that we have to have dumb conversations before a game comes out about where your friends are gonna play and why. I know it's usually just PlayStation 4. I know it's usually just that, but still, it would be nice to have more friends to play with because I bought Borderlands 2 like three times just to play with people who swore we were really gonna do it. It's a permanent this time we're gonna go buy we're gonna go kill Krimorax and then they just ghost my ass like after two evenings so that's neat but for now let's focus on the positives go forth and enjoy your new middle-aged adult sounding online ID may ye scream racial slurs online no more home would be the next Assassin's Creed cool. setting after the last two were set in ancient Greece ancient Egypt ancient Rome seems to follow but nope that's not the case looks like we're doing something else what is it Viking fever! Oh! I'm so glad he had to say that. So fun fact, I googled that phrase just for fun. That is totally a term for when women have fetish for Viking dudes. <laughs> All you 